This is how you can make a welcome status system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any other video on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super or god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can go ahead and get a god tier subscription on Discord. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested, and with that, let's go ahead and get into the code. Alright, so to start, we're going to go over to schemas, and we're going to go ahead and and create our schema. So within this, we're going to get W status for welcome status. We're going to get a guild string, an enabled boolean, and a DM boolean. So we can do true or false, and then we can just save it. So go ahead and pause the video and copy all of this down. Once you have that, we can close out and we can go over to moderation. We're going to go ahead and create welcome status. Such a yes. We're going to start off by getting our slash command builder, and we can also get our embed builder, and then we can do equals require, and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package. Following that, we can do const W status equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our schema so we can do dot dot slash and we can get our w status schema then we can do module.exports and we're going to open this up to get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder we can go ahead and set a name which is going to be welcome status and i'm just going to go ahead and set a description we can do w status because it's not going to actually be visible then we're going to go ahead and create three subcommands. they're pretty simple the first one is going to be enable with the description of enable the welcome status system we're going to add a boolean option with the name send dm the description send a dm to the new member that gets put on my status and then we're going to set required to true on that and then our next sub command is going to be disable with the description of disable the welcome status system and then our third sub command is going to be check with the description of check your welcome status system status so after we do that we can add a comma and we're going to start off by doing async execute so we can go ahead and get our interaction and we're going to open this up we can start off by getting our options and then we're going to go ahead and set that equal to our interaction and then we can do const sub Sub equals options that get sub command. Then after we do that, we can do var data equals await, and we can do w status to find one. We can start off by just getting our guild, which is going to be our interaction .guild .id. So now that we have those variables, we're going to write out our send message function with the parameter as message. In here, we're going to start off by getting our embed builder. So we can do new embed builder here, and we can go ahead and get a color, and that is just going to be blurple as usual. And we're going to set a description with our message parameter. Then we're going to go ahead and send this. So we can do await, and we can do interaction or apply and we can just go ahead and get our embeds which is going to be our embed we're also going to go ahead and set infermal to true then we can come out of that function and we're going to go ahead and switch to our sub command so we can go ahead and do these we're going to get our case which is going to be enable and here we're going to do if data we can open this up we're going to do wait send message and we can just go ahead and get our caution emoji and i'm just going to go ahead and say this system is already set up then we're going to go ahead and come out of that and we can just go ahead and say else in here we're going to go ahead and do const dm equals options to get boolean and that is going to be our send dm boolean then we're going to go ahead and do await w status to create we're going to get our guild which is going to be our interaction that guild id we're going to get enabled which is just going to be set to true and we can get our dm which is going to be our dm variable now we can follow up by doing await send message i'm just going to go ahead and get a globe emoji and within this i'm going to go ahead and say every time someone joins the server their name and your server will appear on my status then we're going to go ahead and break and we're going to go ahead and get our case, which is going to be disable. Within this, we're going to do if no data, we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to do waits and we can do send message. Within this, again, I'm going to go ahead and get that caution emoji. And we can just go ahead and say this system is not yet set up. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and say else just like above. We're going to go ahead and do await w status dot delete one. And we can just go ahead and get our guild, which is going to be our interaction dot guild dot ID. So we're going to go ahead and delete the guild's data. Then we can do await send message. And I'm going to go ahead and get our glow emoji. And we're just going to start off by saying I have disabled the welcome status system. And and then after we do that, we're done with that subcommand. So we can go ahead and break. We're going to get our case, which is going to be check. These are some pretty simple subcommands. This is just setting up and managing the system, uh, as you can see. Within this, we're going to do var main, and that's going to be an empty string. We can also do var dm string equals an empty string as well. We're going to do if data dot enabled, then we can open this up. We're going to go ahead and set our main to every time a member joins the server. 
their name and this server will be put on my status for at least five seconds just like that so then we're going to go ahead and say if and we can do data.dm we're going to open this up and we can go ahead and set our dm string to equal members and we can go ahead and say will and we can go ahead and say receive a direct message letting them know they are on my status just like that so now that we have our strings all we have to do is send the message so we can do a wait to send message and i'm just going to go ahead and get our globe emoji and then we can go ahead and say your servers and we can go ahead and say welcome status info and i'm going to go ahead and do backslash and backslash and we can do arrow we can say your welcome status system is and we can go ahead and do data dot enabled within backslash ticks and we can do backslash n and we're going to go ahead and get our main and then we could go ahead and do backslash n backslash n and we're going to get our dm string just like that so now that's all formatted we only have one more thing to do which i kind of forgot to do we're going to come to the top and we're going to go ahead and set mod to true and we can add a comma so that is our moderator command meaning that only moderators or somebody with a moderator role can actually use this if you'd like to set the system up the video will be in the description below or you could just run a permission statement but with that we're actually done with the commands so let's go ahead and close out we can go over to events and we're going to go ahead and create welcome status again uh, within this we're going to go ahead and create our events that actually handle this so we can get our events and we can get our activity type and we can go ahead and get our discord.js package then we can go ahead and do const w status equals require and we can go ahead and get our schemas and we're going to get our w status schema now we're going to go ahead and run module.exports and we're going to get our name here which is going to be events and we can do the guild member add and we can add a comma we're going to do async and we're going to go ahead and get execute just like in the other file and we can go ahead and pass in our member and our client and we can open this up here so within this we're going to do var data equals await w status to find one this is just going to be our guild which can be our member.guild.id now i put message up here this is actually supposed to be a member i don't know why i did that but now we should be good with that so now let's go ahead and do if no data then we can just go ahead and return we're going to go ahead and do var guilds equals member.guild and we can go ahead and do var string equals and i'm going to go ahead and get a string in here so this string is just going to go ahead and have a wave emoji and it's going to say welcome and we can do member.user.username two, and we can do guild that name and then we can say you are there and then we can do guild.members.cache.size and we can do th so the members and then we can go ahead and say member so this is going to be the string that appears on the bot status when the member joins the server then we're going to go ahead and get one more string and this string is going to be var 2 dm and it's going to have a coconut emoji or whatever emoji you want and it can say take a look at my status you will not be there for long so that's basically telling the member to look at their status because they're there. All right, so now let's go ahead and run our set timeout function. And we're going to go ahead and run async function so we can get async in here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start off by setting the timeout to five seconds. And within this, we're going to go ahead and say if no member, then we're just going to go ahead and return. Then we can do await client.user.set activity. And we can actually go ahead and open this up. We're going to get our name, which is going to be our string, and we can get our type, which is going to be activity type dot custom because we want a custom status. And we can just add a semicolon. So what that is doing is, let's say members join back to back. We don't want to replace the status right away. We want to give it at least five seconds for that member to be on the status. So it's going to set a timeout. And then after that timeout is over, if another member joins, then it's going to go ahead and replace that status. But if the members join back to back, it will wait at least five seconds before replacing that status. So now let's go ahead and do if, and we can do data.dm. We're going to go ahead and do var msg equals await member.send. We can get our two dm, and we're just going to go ahead and catch an error here. And just in case they have the DMs off for catching an error, then we can go ahead and do await msg.react. I'm just going to go ahead and react with a simple star emoji because in my testing, I think that makes it look the best. All right, so with that, we are actually done with this entire command. So let's go ahead and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server here, let's go ahead and run our welcome status. Let's go ahead and enable it. And for this server, let's go ahead and set the true option for that. So now, as you can see, the welcome status is enabled. So let's just go ahead and try to join the server on a different account. All right, so as soon as I join the server, I get a DM from the bot. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and say, take a look at my status. You may not be there for long. Now, if we actually go ahead and open up that status, it's going to say that welcome, and then obviously me, to the server. And then it's going to go ahead and give me the member that I actually am. 
So that successfully worked, and I'm going to remain on their status, on the bot status, until somebody else joins a server, or somebody else joins a different server. Now, I did my best to make this multi-guild, meaning that your bot might be in multiple servers, and so if somebody joins another server that has a system enabled, then that member will replace this current member. So let's go ahead and actually try that. Let's go ahead and try to join a different server, and... Before we do that, let's go ahead and enable the system on that server. So to do that on here, let's just go ahead and do welcome status and we can enable. This time I'm going to set DMs to false because I don't want my actual members to be getting DMs here. So now that that's true, uh, we should be able to go back onto this account and let's go ahead and leave the server first. And then I'm going to go ahead and rejoin the server. And as you can see here, the status was actually successfully updated and it went from uh, me welcome to the Esky bot testing server to welcome me to my coding lounge server. And it's going to give me the member that I actually am there. So why this is important is because let's say another member were to join and not me. It would update the status five seconds after this original member uh, joined, and then it would give them that information. So just for tests, let's go ahead and leave the bot testing server, and let's go ahead and join back again. So this time I'm going to get a DM, and I want to focus up really quickly here. So as you can see, it's still on the other server, but then five seconds later, I know I didn't click on it fast enough, but five seconds later, you could actually see the status change to the other server now i'm using the server as reference here the main point would be the member the member would change within five seconds i just thought i'd mention that so thus you can make an advanced welcome status command for your discord.js version 14 bot if you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below we'll be happy to help you out and you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community and with that i will see you guys in the next video